Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Longest Journey. It has been three weeks since we played last, but I do remember exactly, Hello Cell, what happened. We are going to a party. Um, it's a discarded wagon wheel. Last time we beat a monster, it lured us into its home. You know, like the Wicked Witch in the Woods. And, um... Tried to eat us. But we escaped along with some... Help with some mole people. And the mole people have asked us to go to their place for a... Bit of a shindig. Say thanks and everything for, for saving... Saving one of them and not getting eaten and everything. So... <clears throat> Party time. So we're off to... No, we're not going there. We're going to the Banda... There, there, the Bandas. We're going to the Banda village. April! I'm so glad you could come to our village and sit by our fire so we can thank you in the proper manner. It's my privilege, Ben Bandu. I wouldn't want to pass through this forest without visiting your village and seeing for myself how the Banda people live. Oh my, you speak so eloquently. My brother sits by the fire. I know he wishes to speak with you, but the elder would speak with you first. He rests in his hammock up on the mound. Go speak with him, and then come down again, so we can celebrate the death of the Gribbler and the brave escape of April Ryan and Ben Bondu's brother. The mole people, Duke. And I think it's night because what you're supposed to do in the game is go straight from the Gribbler's lair to here. But because I didn't want to do that, because I was ending a session, I went somewhere else instead where it happened to be daylight. So I think that, you know, it's just because of that. It's my fault that it went from night to day to night, but yeah, they're Wombles. They are Wombles. It's a hammock built for a bond. It's a hammock built for a bond. This is not a hammock. This is barely a hammock. You got a nice bonfire. Glowing. 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 You got a nice bonfire going. It's not really much of a village. Oh, I suppose this is where they live, though, isn't it? Yeah, they live in these hobby halls. It's Crow! When did he get here? <laughs> Finally, a bonfire. Look like a serving maid. Yes, it is. It is, it is offensive. Duke! Don't call him more people. It's the Elder Bondu. The hero of the day comes to visit the old Bandu. Let me see your face, human. Make yourself shorter. That's much better. The human is closer to the soil now, and she may even feel it like we do. Moving, shaping itself, breathing, beating. I don't feel anything. I'm sorry. So the human is not a digger. But we don't judge her because of that. The human is a hero, she is. Don't call me that. I'm not a hero. I was just in the right place at the right time to help somebody out. She destroyed the evil that haunted our forest and rescued one of our little ones from the creatures of chaos. And so she is a hero. She's the one spoken of in our songs, is she not? Burrows. The one who will deliver us from an evil presence and who will go on to save the balance. You are she. Are you not? I don't know. Well, we will see. We will see. You will sleep in our spirit dig tonight. 
and then tomorrow we will see. Now, you must enjoy yourself. This feast is in your honor to show our appreciation for your courage. Thank you. Go, eat and drink and dance, and then go to sleep in the spirit thing. We will talk tomorrow before you continue your journey. You are on a journey, are you not? A very long one, yeah. We are all very. on a journey. Maybe the longest. Yours is the most important one ever. So go. I will smoke my pipe and think on prophecies and songs. Go. Bro? Oh, hey. Uh, I was uh, wondering what happened to you. What happened to you? Hi, Elswit. I thought you were supposed to help out in the search. I could have used some assistance this afternoon. Uh, yeah, but I did find some mal... Some banda, didn't I? Just not the one we were looking for is all. And besides, I was beat. My wings can only carry me so far before I need a twig to rest on and a couple of juicy berries. Speaking of berries, did you taste the ones they got here? The word is yum. Big yum. I don't know what they soaked them in, but hoo-hoo, ma'am! Well, at least you're okay. No, oh, sure. You know me. I could use a good flea plucking, though. Care to reward me for my diligence? Diligence? Ha! <sighs> I'm guessing I'll be plucking my own fleas tonight, then, and, and I'm okay with that. I'm blaming you if I wake up with a crick in the neck tomorrow, though. Enjoying yourself, Crow? It's a party. I'm the party bird. What do you think? Enjoying yourself, Crow? Okay. I'm warm. I'm full. I kissed the pretty chick today. Thanks for asking, though. Enjoying yourself, Crow? <laughs> sleepy. Very sleepy. <laughs> He's sleeping, bless his soul. Oh. Oh, look at <laughs> He reminds me of a lot, like, uh, Sorcerer Dave said he was, like, uh, Mort out of Planescape Torment. It's been bonded. Don't mind me. Oh, dear. It's April. Sit. Sit down. Are you feeling all right? I thought you disappeared on me back at the Gribbler's lair. Oh dear, I do apologize. I saw the Gribbler return from the forest, so I ran into the bushes and headed straight for the village. I was going to get help, you understand, but then I bumped into my brother and I told him what was happening. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Thanks to you, April. How did you kill the Gribbler? Lots of luck. And a little bit of quick thinking. My limited talents in the martial arts were woefully underused. Were you frightened? I don't think I've ever been so frightened in my entire life. Kind of exhilarating, actually. Although at this point, I think I've had quite enough excitement for a lifetime. Oh, dear me. I could never be as brave as you, April. Ever. What is the spirit dig the Elder told me about? Oh, it's a sacred place. A very sacred place. It's where we, the Banda, can speak with our ancestors, ask them questions, and learn from their wisdom. Yeah, well, the Elder said I was to sleep there tonight. He did? The Elder said that? Then you have been honored by him, April. Only those worthy of the spirits of our ancestors can spend the night in the spirit dig. Where is the spirit dig? Right behind you, at the far end of our green. Where did you say the spirit dig was again? Right behind you, April. The entrance faces our green. Where did you say the spirit Right behind. Enjoy the party, guys. Oh, 
But it's in your honor, April. You must enjoy it yourself, too. It's Ben Bandu's brother, Bandu Ita. Oh dear, it's April. Sit, sit down. <laughs> He's got to sit down again. I was just going to leave. Okay, fine. Hi guys, are you enjoying the feast? Oh, very much, very much. Okay. Where did you? Right behind you. All right, so these are the same. Enjoy the party, guys. Same conversation. Okay. Oh, but it's in. <laughs> Oh, swamp weed. Damn, down with that. He got a nice bonfire going. He got a nice bonfire going. He got a nice bonfire going. I'm sure there was something else in there. Maybe there wasn't. He got a nice bonfire going. It's a hammock built for a bond. So he says it's behind us. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. It's the elder Bondu. Blowing. <laughs> well, I think that's about it. I look like a serving maid. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm off in here. Don't mind me. It's not a big fire, but it's comfortably warm in here, and the smoke has a very pleasant, very mellow texture to it. Uh huh. <laughs> How mellow? Mushrooms, or chairs, or both. Psychedelic furniture. I know some people at home would go crazy about stuff like that. There are tunnels extending down into the earth behind the screen. There are tunnels extending. I don't know if there's anything else here. It's some kind of bed made with twigs and moss. Not as comfortable as a real mattress, I'm sure, but it'll do. Okay. I'll just have a look around before I go to bed. Yeah, let's do that. It's not a big fire, but it's comfortably warm. It's not a big. It's not a big. F Let me check out some other. Oh, maybe I'm stuck I in look here now. Like a serving maid. Maybe I'm stuck. All right. Nope, that's about it. Just lie down for a few. No, screw that. I'm getting a good night's sleep. That's what I'm doing. I've never been this tired in my life. <laughs> you don't sleep like that. Save the world, do you? Who are you? I don't tell, tell me you don't recognize me, April Ryan. I'm you. That's impossible. This is just another dream. I must be dreaming. Think again, loser. This is as real as it gets. Why are you here? I'm sending you home, that's what. You're a sad little twit, don't you realize that? There's no point subjecting the entire world, hit two worlds, to your feeble attempts at redeeming yourself, is there? Go away, leave me alone. How the hell am I supposed to do that, Einstein? I am you. You are me. 
Unfortunately for the both of us, we're inseparable. I don't need this Freudian id crap. Not now. There's so much I have to do, so many people I have to help. Oh yeah? Like you really believe that? Like you give a shit about those people? You're doing this for yourself, April, and that's why you're gonna fail. Shut up! Shut up! That's always your way out, isn't it? Telling people to shut up when they speak the truth and shutting them out when they're getting too close for comfort. Don't tell me. I do it because Daddy hurt me. Screw that. How do you think you're gonna hold up when this job gets tough if you can't rely on anybody or believe in anything? I'm doing it, aren't I? Yeah, because what kind of choice did you have? Face your problems back home? Face the nightmares? I don't think so. So you run. Think you're putting distance between yourself and your fear of the past and the present? All you're doing is running straight into an inevitable nervous breakdown. Like right now. You're talking to yourself, April. Now that's not something a mentally stable person would do, is it? Shut up! Shut up! Shh. It's okay, April. It's okay. Charlie? Charlie, is that you? Don't you worry. I'm here. I'll take good care of you. Oh, God, Charlie, I'm so glad that... You're... You're... You're not here. You can't be. I'm still dreaming. No, no, you're not dreaming. I'm here, but in spirit only. Is it? Is it really you, Charlie? We are Charlie, your friend. We feel his heart and his mind, and his sleeping spirit joins us. But we speak from the great digs of the beyond, where the songs of the panda never end. Are the dead? We have passed into the soil. We are spirits, and we have come to guide you. Why Charlie? Why do you show me Charlie? He loves you, and so he guides us here into your heart and mind. He loves me? Charlie loves me? You are not alone in the world, April. There are many who care for you. Your friends and your family. Your real family. You are not alone in your journey through life. What do you know about my family? My real family? They watch out for you, April. That's all we know. They have never abandoned you. They have just let you live the life you needed to live, to understand. It's important that you understand. Understand what? That life, even when difficult and painful, is a gift. That love is priceless and rare and precious. That every good action, every good thought counts. And that a single person can make a difference can change the world if she puts her mind to it, if she believes in herself, and the people who believe in her. But everything is so frightening. I don't understand half of what goes on around me. Did not the mother say she would help you? Watch out for you? Did not Charlie and Emma, your friends, offer to give you a helping hand when you didn't even tell them the truth about what was going on? And Cortez the Red, did he not prove himself a friend as well? How then can you be so afraid when you have so many spirits to be with you in your darkest hour? Cortez the Red? Please, tell me what I have to do. I'm just fumbling in the dark here. Follow your heart and your spirit, April. And use your mind. These are your weapons. And with them, you will defeat chaos. When you wake, tell the Elder that you've had a Bach bar that you've spoken with the Banda spirits, and that your name amongst our people is now April Bandu and Bata, April Digger who will seek and find. Oh, don't go, please don't, go!
there and back again. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, do you remember? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a bit confused about whether I should keep reading these, like, as they pop up, or at the end of a session, or at the beginning of a session. Uh, if you got any... Input on that, I wouldn't mind it. As this is relevant to now, though. <clears throat> Tuesday morning. I guess I had what you could call a spiritual awakening last night. Or at, at least a visit from the spirit world, whatever that is. Either that or an incredibly vivid, vivid dream, but I'm betting that's not it. Say hello to the ghost of Christmas future, April. Storing yourself in the eye and realizing you're a complete bitch is not an occasion to be celebrated. Okay, so she wasn't really me, but the things she said have all crossed my mind from time to time, especially lately. As for Charlie, does he really love me? I mean, like, love love me? I had no idea. No, that's a lie. I guess I had some idea, but I didn't really want to deal with it because I just didn't feel that way about him. He's sweet and kind, and I simply have a tendency to fall for the wrong guys, or the, for the wrong reasons. Like now. Like with... Oh no. I'm not even going to think about that. Huh. Should probably go and see the Elder. Huh. Not the most comfortable bed I've slept in, but acceptable. Party is over. Oh, she's awake. April! Still asleep. Good morning, Ben Bondu. Greetings of the new day to you, April. Did you sleep well in the spirit, Dig? Did I sleep well? Aside from the voices, the apparitions, the sharp rocks poking me in the back, and the moist moss mattress? No, not really. <laughs> so you were visited by the spirits? I guess. When you told me last night that I would be, I didn't believe you. I thought it was just a manner of speaking, like saying, don't let the bed bugs bite. Our ancestors are close to us at all times. Once in a while, they speak to those who have been chosen to spend a night in the spirit dig. That they spoke to you is a great honor. April, a great honor. Right now, I'd be happy to exchange all the honor in the world for one decent night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me, you are very funny, April. If all humans are as funny as you, your cities must be filled with laughter. Not really. The elder wishes to speak with you again. And I must sing now, down in the tunnels. It was decided this morning that I was finally ready to join the diggers. Yay! I'm happy for you, Ben Bondu. Thank you. May the balance provide you on your journey, April. You will be in my heart always. And you will be in mine, Ben Bondu, always. No. You will come back when your journey is over. I'll try. Goodbye. Oh my. I cannot stand farewells. But farewell. Aw. Bye. It's Ben Bondu. And there he goes. Ashes. 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 He's sleeping. Yeah, he's slept too well. It's the elder Bondu. <laughs> so, you are awake? Did you sleep well? As well as can be expected, I guess. Does the word Buckbar mean anything to you? Buckbar? Where did you hear this word? The spirits told me that I'd had a Buckbar. 
So the spirit spoke to you openly? You are lucky, human. Some who enter the spirit dig never come out again. <laughs> and some spend the night but hear nothing. But to you, the spirits spoke. I say something about that? A bakbar is a vision of yourself that speaks the truth in two ways. One is the dark truth. This is how you see yourself when you are not sure of yourself or angry with yourself. The other truth is the very opposite of the first. This is how you must see yourself to be happy. But the spirits remind us that both are important. That you cannot love yourself without first seeing your flaws. Yeah. The people I saw, were they really there? The spirits use masks to convey their messages. And they speak in voices from the past or the present that carry great weight with you. The messengers are never the same, nor the message. But you must take care to hear and heed their words. I was told that my name among the Banda would be April Bandu Mbata. She among the little ones who seeks and finds. So, you are the one we sing of. The human who would come to aid us and to save our world, and who will then tear it apart. Hmm. You bring tidings both happy and sad to the Banda, April Bandu Mbata, both hope and despair. This world will never be the same again once you have passed through it. But we are grateful, and I'm proud to have met you and to give you what you came for. It was just luck that brought me here. I didn't come for anything in specific. Yes, you did. This is what you came for. Got a thing. <clears throat> what is it? This is the stone given to us by the fathers to keep safe until this day. It has been with us for so long. Oh, it's a piece of the disc. Ah. Then you know it. We got a thing. You came for the stone, even though you didn't know it until now? I guess I did. Thanks. Now, you must continue your journey, April Bandu and Pata. Remember that this is your tribe now. And so you are welcome at our fires and in our digs whenever you come this way again. I'm honored. Thank you. May there always be soil between your toes, April Bandu and Pata. And between yours, Elder. Goodbye. We got a thing. We got a thing. We got a thing. We got a thing. It's a piece of the stone disc I got from the Banda people. I can't use it with anything, obviously. Well, I say obviously, it might not be, but... Dark Soils. <laughs> oh, boy. Just skip to the end, come on. Got the first stone. It's funny, I came here by chance and I didn't even know the Banda were guarding one of the pieces of the disc. Yet here it is, right in my hand. It's a lot smaller than I thought, which is a good thing considering I'll be carrying it with me for a while. This is not so hard, is it? I'm actually starting to enjoy myself. Of course, having said that, everything will probably go wrong from now on in. Three more stones and I'm home free. After I defeat the evil alchemist, of course, and hold the forces of chaos at bay and... Oh. Boy, I really gotta keep positive attitude here. <laughs> Come on, Crow, wake the hell up. He's sleeping. No, he's not. Wake up! <laughs> nice, nice, April, nice. Turn off the big light, mommy. <laughs> it's called the sun, Crow. Welcome to the world of the living. Oh. <laughs> Sentimental. I was having this weird dream about a big ass turkey wearing a pair of red shoes, and you were there. And and he was there, and, and and maybe it wasn't a dream after all. I think it's safe to say that you need therapy, and we need to leave right now. We do? We do! Let's go get him! <clears throat> uh, who are we getting again? 
Some evil alchemist out to rule the world with his powerful and destructive magic. Okay, Naruma. Yes! Exactly! Uh... I'll keep an eye out for other potential threats then, shall I? Like, uh, marauding mice? You do that, Crow. Thank you. I don't remember the story, Hugh. Not specifically. The story might be back in the, uh... To the swamp. That's brilliant. Um... I look like a serving maid. Might be, uh, back in the um, the, um library, the way. Swamp water. There are things moving down there. Big things. Hmm. Swamp water. Mosquitoes everywhere. I hope one of those clouds doesn't get a whiff of me in charge. The last thing I need now is malaria. Hmm. Where's Yoda? an ordeal I prefer not to go through again. Did I drop something? It feels like I dropped something. Whatever it was, one of those things probably ate it. Oh, no, I didn't, did I? I totally did. I totally dropped something. There's no way I'm going to remember what, what I dropped. I absolutely dropped something. Anyone have any idea? I'm gonna look at the uh, quickly at this before. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's what it was. Delivery. Oh, it was a delivery list. Uh oh. No, no, we got we got the stone. Uh. Wing people who observe and record history. That's where I'm going now, isn't it? I don't think it is here. Still. Yeah, yeah. It's a map of the Northlands. I dropped something. They look like dark purple tulips with a satin texture. Pretty, but a little too gothic for my taste. It's like, where's the funeral? I look like a serving Not maid. You. They feel very soft to the touch and soothing like skin moisturizer. I'll bring a few in case my hands get dry. Never hurts to be prepared for a dry skin emergency. Pretty, but a little too dark and gothic for me. <laughs> we just played gothic yeah obviously if I wouldn't watch it hello Grimoth 
pretty, but a little too dark and gothic for me. Hmm. How are you? Feverini, it's good to hear. If I was a winged race of people, I would live there. That must be Roper Clax's castle. The whole gravity-defying bit kind of gives it away. Oh no, that's right. We're looking for the. We're not looking for those. We're looking for the guy who stopped the wind. That's right. I know what I'm doing. I wonder if that's like the Arcadian equivalent of an RV. I mean, I wouldn't think relocation is a big problem. <laughs> I wonder if that's. I wonder if that's like the Arcadian equivalent of an RV. I mean, I wouldn't think relocation is a big problem. Oh, that can't be good. Oh boy. He shoots a statue. Nice stone look. Not particularly realistic. Okay, you say so. Those berries look ripe and juicy, but my mom taught me never to judge a book by its cover. They're probably poisonous and almost certainly fattening. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Uh-oh, I'm sinking. Uh-oh. Now that was a bit scary. I could have lost my shoes. And I guess my life. <laughs> okay. All right. So I can't get them. Those berries look ripe and juicy. Right, use the statue. Strange texture. My fingers feel tingly. Mm. Oh my god! What are you? I don't understand what you're saying. Can you try to open your mouth a bit? <laughs> Impossible. Impossible. Impossible? Okay. Okay, there's gotta be some way to help you talk. By the way, can you help me get up there? Into the castle? Need magic. I don't know I any magic, move. sorry. Cool. But I'll try to find a way to soften you up. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> so, petrified man. Uh, okay, petrified man. What? Oh. That was easy. That doesn't work. The stone no. surface is too coarse and the petals aren't moist enough by themselves. I think I need to mix them with something to make it easier to apply. <laughs> oh, God. I need to mix them with a uh, golden ring. No. Okay, fine. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, here we go with another, another puzzle. Nah, -uh, that marshy ground between me and the berries looks treacherous. I'll probably get stuck and drown. To watch on the ground. Um, hmm. Okay, well, this is. I might be here a while. Well, maybe I'll talk to him again. Hello again. Yes. Um. So, you can't help me get into the castle unless I help you soften up a bit first, yes? Yes. Right. Hello again? Yes. Um, right. What am I going to do with that then? 
Yeah, it's just all the same. Oh, you know FK? Alright, let me know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if the berries are actually going to work. Really. I do have a convenient bird. You're absolutely right, FK. Chilly out here. You should really be wearing a sweater. No, I, for, I forgot about. You don't I forgot want to catch this. a cold, not with the fate of the known cosmos on your shoulders. I forgot about the uh, fine, whistle thanks, thing. Crow. What's going on with you? Keeping my eyes open, you know, floating on the warm winds, doing that whole Hawkeye shtick. I'm getting pretty good at it too. I spotted you from at least 100 yards away. Impressive. Yep. They don't call me the Lord of the Winds. For nothing. Do they really call you that? No, but soon, by the balance, they will. Now, what can I do for you, sweetheart? Uh. Those berries look ripe and juicy. Crow, I need you to fly over there and get some of those berries for me. And Crow? Yes, ma'am. Don't eat the berries. No, ma'am. <laughs> yep, I forgot about the. Uh, I could, I could, I could whistle for him, so that might have, um, you know, confu confusing for a bit. So, good call, FK. Okay, good call. Thanks, Crow. You got it. I'm gonna go back up there and work on my eyesight. I ain't stopping until I can spot those cute chicks from miles and miles away. <laughs> so. Lord of the Winds. <laughs> yep. I don't think the salve will be effective for very long. I'm April, by the way. Lorhan, I'm a sailor. And you've got to help me get out of here. I don't think I can stand it much longer. A sailor? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, we need one of them as well, I think. A navigator and stuff. What happened to you? Or something. Can't remember. Oh, that blasted, blasted alchemist cast a spell on me. Turned me to solid rock. Then he put me here to be gatekeeper and anchor for his blasted castle. I was near six full moons past now. You've been here for half a year? Curse the balance. We say it like that. It is an age. My wife is sure to have taken someone else's bed by now. Blasted magic. The vanguard were right. Ooh. What do you mean the vanguard were right? That we've been at the mercy of the balance for too long. It's time to make some changes. Put the control back into the hands of the people. How would that have helped you? Well, for one, there wouldn't be any rogue magicians like this Roper Clax running about causing trouble. Do you not agree? I'm not about to argue politics with you right now, Lorhan. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Who's arguing? And blasted be my rocky hide. Get me out of here. How can I help you? It ain't just me, April. There are dozens of men up there. Servants and sailors and merchants and soldiers. All sent here by their masters to deal with Roper Clax. Ha! <laughs> Curse it be the balance. We've all been turned to stone, and our souls trapped in a crystal that the madman keeps in his tower. He draws power from that, power that shouldn't be his by right. But this blasted problem of the balance has upset the natural order of things. If the vanguard were in control, this would never have happened. Things would be like they used to be a long time ago. Everything was good then? 
Oh, sure, there were problems, but this rift, it ain't natural. Science and magic belong together in the hands of the people, not to some naked guardian fellow on a tower somewhere far away. Listen, we've got more important things to think about, like how I'm going to get inside the mountain, beat this clack sky, and free your soul. Yeah, 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 you're right. And I can feel my muscles turning to stone again. We must hurry. How do I get inside the mountain? I'll pull the stairs down for you. Usually when Clax comes and goes, he softens me up for a bit, just so I can raise and lower the stairs for him, and then he changes me back to solid rock again. Once you're inside, and if you manage to defeat the madman, I don't see how you're going to do that, a young woman like yourself. I'm pretty resourceful, and I'm not your run-of-the-mill teeny bopper either. You're what? Anyways, if you defeat Clax, you must find his study and break the crystal, the soul stone. That should break the spell and give us back our flesh and bone bodies. Sounds like a plan. Brilliant. All right, here goes. Watch your head, April. Enter the mountain. Oh, it's straw labyrinth. A labyrinth, great. I still <laughs> love these things. <laughs> jump! Jump into the abyss! Who is that? Wait, don't tell me, evil wizard. They all sound like Richard the Third on crack. Well, we've lost the element of surprise. That gargoyle's holding a large hourglass. Who it is? There's a demon and an angel. He's got his hand out like he's begging. Highly unlikely to have something. His hands on fire. Great. I don't think I've got something to put that out. Hello. Oh, I just. <laughs> His hands on fire. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do the. Afraid of heights, but this this is kind of scary. Something tells me that door down there is important. But how am I gonna get to it? Jump! Jump into the abyss! I don't think I'm gonna do that. That gargoyle's holding a large hour. Huh. 
It's a rolled up parchment. Go get it. I look like a serving maid. Salt in one hand and pepper in the other. Oh. Pepper. Pepper. Salt. Salt. <laughs> I needed those, definitely. What have they got to do with this, though? been blocked. Lorhan must have turned back into solid rock. <laughs> Don't worry, Hugh, I get there in the end. Okay. I look like a serving maid. Can't get to that screen anymore, okay. Coin left now. It's a single iron coin. <laughs> Pepper. I don't see what. Yeah, hopefully, Hugh. It's a piece of the stone disc I got from the Banda people. Pepper. It's a calculator. I look like a serving maid. That gargoyle's holding a large hourglass. Holding a large hourglass. Um. <laughs> you 
You basically just have to be quick. Quick what? Oh. Right. I don't know why he's laughing at, but that's that's okay. Yeah, that was a little simpler than I thought. It's weird that you know I I thought that might be something I had to do to slow this down, but no, you just had to run. <laughs> that was overly simple, so simple I didn't even think of trying it. Weird. My goodness. Whoa. Talk about a hissy fit. Evil Mirror Universe it sure got some anger stored up. Guess she doesn't want me to get that parchment. It's like that Star Trek episode with the Mirror Universe Spock. It almost looks like a Mirror Universe me. Huh. Uh, yeah. Um, we'll come back to that. It's not a doll. It's a stone door. Who's knocking? Oh, hello. That door's got an hourglass sticking out of it. Should have gone up there, I don't know. Balance be cast. Thanks, Diamond. That's one stony face. That's one stony face. Yep, that's what it is. One stony face. Progress, I guess, but we didn't get that parchment, which makes me worry. No one in the chat is freaked out, though. So that's good. Big, certainly, but I can't see anything through it. It's like there's a thick fog outside obscuring everything. It's frosted. Say whatever you want about Roper Clax. He certainly knows how to keep a big fire. Oh, wait. Are those human bones down there? Evil alchemist or not, at least he's made some effort to make the place look good. I like how she sees the good thing in everything. Evil alchemist or not, evil alchemist or not, it's a roaring fire with the emphasis on roaring. Finally! <laughs> I was beginning to think you would never make it through my labyrinth. Welcome to my humble home. Do you like it? I had it built according to my own specifications by the most skilled architects of Arcadia. They have since become a permanent and quite attractive fixture of their own building, of course. Oh, but I forget my manners. I am, as I am sure you already know, 
Europa Clax. And you would be? April Ryan, pleased to meet you, sir. Oh. But the kitten has manners. How precious. How very precious. I am tempted to not turn you into stone. You would make a spirited wife and mother to my demonic children. But no. It will be more fun to destroy you. <laughs> I gotta go, I'll see you later. <laughs> I gotta go. gotta go, bye. Why did you turn those people into stone? Questions, questions, questions. I do not need to explain myself to you, little bastard child. Do you know who your parents are? No, of course not. Too stupid. What? What do you know about my parents? Suffer the little children. Oh, how I love that phrase. It is my life's philosophy. I like suffering, especially the suffering of innocent children. Their screams are so pretty. Their tears so salty. You're a real shit, Clax. I know you are. But what am I? <laughs> Why did you trap the wind? Why does the wolf eat the sheep? I don't think you answered my question. Because I can, little girl. Because I can. That's not why I'm wolf eats sheep. Because of who I sheep. am. Because I am hungry, and because the time is right. That's more like it. I think you did it because you're insecure and you have to show off your petty magic to the world. Shut your pretty little mouth. I will devour you. I will... <clears throat> but we must not lose our self-control, must we? No, we must not. Prepare to be defeated. Prepare to be defeated. Ha! Clichés! Is that the best you can do? Hi, Varric. Watch me. Yes. And you plan to do what? Witness the men who came before you with their weapons and their magic. Look what happened to them. Turn to stone. Each and every one of them for all eternity. I even own their souls now. And they will feed me and keep me strong for as long as I need them. How original. Been reading a lot of fairy tales lately, have we? Oh, how precious. <laughs> oh. See? I could scour your flesh off your bones in a second, little girl. Now. Do you think you could defeat me? I've got a monkey. Yeah, well, I can pull a rabbit out of a hat. I can pull a hat out of a rabbit. What's your point? Whoa, I've never seen that before. It is not a pretty sight, and I love it. How did you do that? <laughs> love that context. Alchemy, little girl, the most powerful magic. It was a spell of my own creation. I knocked it together only last night. Alchemist the least. How about a proper challenge? Powerful proper magic. <clears throat> what what do you mean by a proper challenge? Remember that. I can't defeat you with magic. I'm not a wizard. Wizards? Frauds! The lot of them! The only real magic is the magic of alchemy. But of course, you cannot defeat me with magic. That is why I will win. What's so great about beating me with magic? That's not a challenge. That's a walkover. If we even the odds out a bit, 
You'll have more fun and satisfaction from turning me into stone later. You are trying to trick me. I know that. <laughs> but you intrigue me, little girl. Go on, then. Issue a challenge worthy of my powers. Uh. <laughs> oh. Maths. Um. Yeah, of course it does. It does depend on who wrote the thing. But the, the initial—I don't know where I read it, but I do remember reading that the, the alchemists are the, the lesser of the mages. So this guy is one of those. I challenge you to a contest of simple arithmetic using only this petty little device against your supreme intellectual powers. Give me your best shot, but after this, I will take your soul. Athletics. And you in stone for all eternity. Sounds good to me. Okay. Here's one. 49 times 11. 49 times 11 what? Numbers. Okay. Think of apples and oranges. 49 apples times 11 oranges. 49 times... Carry the one over, divide by three, what to do with that file? <clears throat> no, forget that one. So that leaves us with... Nine! Aha! <laughs> Wrong. It's 539. That was an easy one, Clax. Is that the best you can do? Uh, two out of three. <laughs> I'll give you an even easier one this time. Six hundred and three nice, divided, divided by three. Ooh, you underestimate my powers, little girl. Five thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven point two point three. Aha! Way off, buddy. It's two hundred and one. Sorry, you lose. Give me that thing! Ooh. This is intriguing. This really is. What does this do? Oh, my. thought math was such a waste of time yes magic and science it's a crystal ball with tiny specks of light flitting back and forth inside this must be where Clax has trapped the souls of all those unfortunate people. It's a bottle containing a red liquid. Go get it. I can't reach that high. Yeah. These curtains haven't been washed in years. Typical. Evil alchemists spend too much time mixing potions and coming up with megalomaniacal schemes and not enough time doing basic household chores. It is because, Verik, we're in the world of magic, and because we use science to defeat him, he couldn't handle all the facts and stuff, I imagine. So it ate him. I don't know. 
Oh, clues. This page has been torn out, leaving only part of it readable. If you bothered to tear it out, it must be important. It's a spell. Clouds and spider's webs, plus, um, magic finger? If alchemy is anything like chemistry, that last one is probably some kind of catalyst or something. Clouds and spider web plus catalyst makes invisible? Only part of this page is readable. Only part of this page is readable. Clouds and spider's webs with catalyst makes invisibility spell. Good to know. <clears throat> Maybe that's why he stole the wind from the clouds, so he could catch the clouds. It's a big old skull with a weird blue light inside. Let's go get it. The whole uh, science and magic thing reminds me of uh, an animation called The Flight of Dragons, which was sort of a mid-80s cartoon, Fishlands cartoon, and that had a similar kind of theme to it. So it's kind of a, a familiar theme to me. It's a tap used for emptying the contents of the pot into a container. Empty vials. Empty vials. It's a big cast iron pot simmering over a slow fire. It's a bottle containing a yellow liquid. Take the yellow liquid. Okay. It feels soft like satin, and very fragile. It sounds like the rapid flapping of fragile wings. <laughs> it smells like fresh flowers. Maybe there's more of these then. Yeah, there's a red one up there. Oh no, we don't go drinking weird things. She's a sensible girl. There's something behind the curtain. Clever fellow, that roper clacks. Who'd think to look there? Mwah! It's a bottle containing a green liquid. Oh yeah, and the blue one that's under the skull. Yeah, that one as well. Let's go get that one. <clears throat> Chance of superpowers. Chance of poison and death though as well, yeah? I think we'll definitely need to get that one. Although maybe we'll create like a spell that'll have us float up and get that one or something. I doubt we can break this yet. That'll be the end game thing. Well, not the end game, but you know, end of the area. May. Oh, you have to open the window, though. You have to open the window first. Well, let's look at it first. The window's closed, and that glass is too foggy to see through. up we are, but there are clouds below us and I can't see the ground. There he is.
What's going on? Nice digs you found here, though I'd cut down on the mad alchemist decor just a little. It's just not you. I don't plan on sticking around, Crow. Heck, why not? You'll be mobile. Home security is not an issue, and you can strike fear into the hearts of men. I like it. When you put it like that, no. <laughs> hey, up to you. So, why'd you call me? What's going on out there? What's going on is that we're currently cruising at an altitude of, uh, oh, very high. And where are we heading? We're very slowly going nowhere except up. There's no wind, remember? It'll start getting chilly and hard to breathe in a few hours, however. That won't be very pleasant. Hmm. I could use some help. I'll try my best. Just let me know what you want me to do. Think you can get that red flask for me, Crow? Unless you want me to knock it down for you? No way. It's too large and unhandy for my claws. No. Crow might drop and break the bottle. Hmm. What can Crow do then? If anything. Go on the fire. <laughs> no. Nice idea though. But not going to solve all our problems. I know. <laughs> Need some fresh air, Crow? Go on. Go for a walk. You kicking me out of here? I thought you needed my help. Yeah, I do. Sorry. Stick around. So we need him for something. We need him for something. Maybe you can knock something down that we can use. Maybe it's time for the potion thing. Has the texture of thin strands of hair. I can hear the rustling of tiny legs. <laughs> it smells like pearls of morning dew. It feels cool to the touch, like ice. I can hear a distant tingling sound like crystal bells. <laughs> it smells hard to define. Sharp, decisive, earthy. Yeah, why not? It's a tap used for emptying the contents of the pot into a container. Just mix them all together. What's the worst that can happen? I'll just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. I know. There's another pot in the I know. Where, oh, is like there? Like so. Oh, sorry. Fortunately, they're small enough to carry in my pocket. Well, I still got this one. So I didn't know that. Apologies, but I thought you meant the one that I haven't got. Find magic potion, no. The magical essence in this vial is supposedly used for binding magic, whatever that means.
I'll save it for when I really need it. Hmm. Another portion I haven't found. Obviously not that one then. It's a crystal ball with souls trapped inside it. She Clouds only part of this clouds and spiders webs with catalyst makes invisibility spell. Um, hi Caesar. how is thou? Very good to see ya. I ain't seen it, if, uh, you. I, I see it there, I see one there, but that, that isn't anything. She moved, well, oh god, yeah. Ah, there it is. It's a bottle containing white liquid. Okay. It feels moist and light, fluffy almost. Like a cloud. It sounds like distant thunder. <laughs> it smells like ozone. Uh, usurper, right? Yes, I recognize that name. It's a big cast iron pot simmering over a slow fire. Clouds. Oh. What shows around the edges of the torn page? Well, yeah, not so much. Start with clouds. Possibly the spider web. And all these, obviously. Relate to a potion. So the spider web is not the blue one, definitely. Probably this one. It feels soft like satin and very fragile. It sounds like the rapid flapping of fragile wings. Alright, not that one then. I can hear the rustling. It has the texture of... Okay, it's the green one. Okay, 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 okay. Can't skip it. I can hear the rustle. But I need a catalyst as well. So... It's a tap used for emptying the contents of the pot into a container. It's a big cast iron pot simmering over a slow fire. Whoops, that didn't seem to mix too well. <laughs>
I've always wanted to um, <clears throat> handle a snake. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Hi, Shelly. But never have. Nah, I already got that potion. I'm pretty certain I won't be needing any more. Yeah, that works. No, I'll need, so I'll probably need to use four of them. I wish I could remember what I did the first time. I'm just kind of just, just, just mixing stuff. Cauldron, the the, 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 big, this thing, yeah. God damn it. So white and green. And, oh no, yellow, green, and white. Whoops, that nope. didn't seem to mix too well. So how about... There's a lot of combinations, so I can't really do this randomly, can I? Plus it's getting late, so I might stop. seem to mix too well. Yeah, I think I'll call it a night, a night for now. It's pretty late. Yeah, sorry, Paul. Hello. Nice to see you in the stream. <clears throat> I do have a... No, I have... Well, yeah, but I don't know what the catalyst is. Clouds and spiders webs with catalyst makes invisibility spell. And it makes you invisible. I don't know what. Clouds and spiders webs with catalyst makes invisibility spell. I suppose that'll help you get the. Um, parchment from in front of the mirror. That's what that's for. But I don't know what the catalyst is. I might leave it till next week. I will leave it till next week. I'm going to leave until next week. <clears throat> Shadowhawk. Pay attention. I didn't save it throughout the whole thing. <clears throat> uh, you know, because I'm getting, getting tired. I want to stop, so I'm going to stop. We did quite a lot there, though. Went to a party. Had a trippy dream. Went through a swamp. Dropped a list. Got into here. Got through the uh, labyrinth. Killed the wizard. And going into here. So I think that's quite a lot for, you know, one session. I think that's, that's a fair bit of progress. Um, so. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Shadowhawk. Um, Alright then. Uh, yeah, that will that will conclude it for today. Um, and this week. So thank you very much for watching. Being a great company as always, guys. This will take a while. Yes, okay. Yes, I thought it might be a bit of an extended area. So, uh, yeah, best not to push it, you know. Has been fun as always, everybody. Um, I'll be streaming throughout the week. Um. <clears throat> We're writing down. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will do that. Uh, right then, everybody, I hope you have a good week if I don't see you, and hopefully you can join me next week where uh, I won't be streaming Saturday because I have nothing planned, although I might release a 
vote. So check Twitter. Uh, I'll put it on YouTube as well. And check the little news widget below as well, because I'll put it on that as well when I finally make it, and on the Discord as well, uh, about what will we'll replace XCOM on Saturdays. So I'm going to have a vote, to Paul. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know. But I'm going to stop the uh, stream for YouTube because, uh, yeah, the video for YouTube, because this has nothing to do with the Only's Journey playlist. So thank you very much, YouTube. And I shall see you later.